Okay, earlier uh, we introduced the geographic grid system. Uh, there are two dimensions. Yeah. The first one is north south dimension. The second dimension is east west dimension. And for the north south dimension, uh, 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 we have a we define yeah parallel yeah the imaginary line uh, go west east direction among them the center one is equator and then we define latitude is angular distance from wherever point to equator the angle from wherever point to equator so if you stand right under equator let me ask you what is the latitude yes zero degree if you stand right under equator Zero degree latitude because yeah the no angle yeah, between uh, yourself and equator. How about if you stand in the ninety degree north pole? Yeah, oh, you stand in the uh, uh, north pole. Yeah, your latitude is ninety degree. Yeah, because from north pole to equator, the angle is ninety degree. How about if you stand at South Pole, yeah, another 90 degree negative. Yeah. So we define the northern hemisphere for the latitude is positive. For the southern hemisphere, the latitude is negative. Is is negative? Yeah, and then of course, yeah, we apply uh, this kind of uh, uh, latitude. Uh, into um, uh, a lot of the application uh, in our uh, human uh, society and activity. Yeah, in, in here, uh, I think I give you an um, example. Is the, we apply the 49th parallel yeah, to, div to divide the U.S. and Canadian border yeah, from Minnesota all the way. Yeah to Pacific Ocean. Yeah. This part of the border of US and Canada apply 49 degree yeah, parallel yeah, to divide the border. I think um, uh, we know that this is the longest, longest peaceful border yeah, of the world country. Yeah. It's the applied uh, 49 degree. And on the other hand, yeah, the other example, uh, it's not a peaceful border, yeah, such as uh, anyone here aware of the which parallel yeah, we divide the North Korea and South Korea. Anyone? 38. Yeah, yeah, yeah. In the 1950s, yeah, the the communist, yeah, uh, 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 North Korea, yeah, almost conquer the 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 South. Korea and at the time, uh, the general uh, Douglas MacArthur helped South Korea push back, right? Yeah, push back. Yeah, and then uh, later, yeah, they used the parallel 38 degree to divide, yeah, the North Korea and South Korea, and of course, in addition to the border, for example, we. We uh, using the letter to uh, to divide a uh, geographic zone, uh, tropical area, subtropical area, Arctic region, so on and so forth. So this is the the first uh, dimension of the the geo geographic grid system. By the way, uh, in one of the slide I mentioned uh, the Tropy of Cancer. And Tropic of Capricorn, which is the 20, 23.5 degree north and 23.5 degree south. Uh, anyone here uh, 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 know why 23.5 degree is important to Earth? Yeah, yeah I think um, in in, the, uh, in our on-site meeting, uh, one student uh, answered that yeah because uh, the the Earth tilt at 23.5 degree yeah tilt 
23.5 degrees. So in the summer time, at certain point, sunlight directly hit. Yeah, 23.5 degree north. Yeah, and then in winter months, the sunlight directly hit. 23.5 degrees south. And then include Earth Revolution. Yeah, so they contribute to the four seasons. Four seasons. And then the other dimension. Yeah, look at the slide set. The other dimension is longitude. Northwest, yeah, Dimen uh, east west dimension. So, for the longitude, yeah, first of all, we define uh, meridian. Meridian, yeah, meridian is the imaginary line, yeah, go through geography north and geography south and bisect the earth into half. Among those meridian, we define prime meridian. Prime meridian is the meridian cross over Greenwich, yeah, United Kingdom is about one hour, one hour drive uh, from London. And at the time when we define the prime meridian, United Kingdom, yeah, uh, was the most powerful country of the world, yeah. They rule twenty five percent of the land mass, yeah, a certain point of time. So the prime meridian is the meridian cross over Royal Observatory uh, Greenwich, yeah, and then we define longitude as angular distance from wherever point to prime meridian, and then from prime meridian go east is positive. From prime meridian go west is negative. So right now US yeah for the latitude because we are in the northern hemisphere yeah we are positive. But for the longitude for the yeah location we are west of the prime meridian. So for the longitude we are negative. Again uh, human society we apply a lot of the application about from the, the longitude anyone here uh, 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 tell me how many time zones yeah on earth how many time zones yeah 24 time zones and then we use a longitude yeah to define the time zone and the whole earth 360 degree so totally 15 degree of longitude each time zone each time zone and, and let me refresh your memory uh, hypothetically if we are in the 12 noon we we, we are 12 noon yeah thursday for example 12 noon thursday and uh, let me ask you yeah what time is it in chicago 11 good what time is it in Denver, Colorado? 10 a.m. <laughs> what time is it in Los Angeles? 9? Yes, good, good. What time is it in Honolulu, Hawaii? 6 a.m. Good, good, yeah. Okay, again, hypothetically, we are noon hour Thursday. Yeah, then earlier we go west, right? And then we go east. Yeah, roughly 15 degree longitude. Yeah, we divide a time zone, right? What time is it in Nova Scotia, Canada? <laughs> 1 p.m. What time is it in London, United Kingdom? 5 p.m. What time is it in Frankfurt, Germany? 6 p.m. What time is it in Tokyo, Japan? 
1 a.m. Okay. Which day? 1 a.m. Friday. Okay. Can anyone tell me? Yeah. Uh, which day of the Hawaii? Uh, uh, some of you answer earlier. Hawaii is 6 a.m. Thursday, right? Yeah. So right now we have a situation is that the one side of the Pacific Ocean is Thursday, 6 a.m. And the other side of the Pacific Ocean is 1 a.m. Friday, 1 a.m. Friday. How do we deal with yeah, the differences in date? Yeah. I think uh, one of the slides, okay, yeah, in the slide 17, slide 17, yeah, we define, yeah, the international date line is about opposite from prime meridian, about opposite from prime meridian in the Pacific Ocean, in the international date line you go from east to west you need to add a day and then if you go from west to east you subtract a day yeah so the uh, for example yeah the we, we know the the Pearl Harbor attack, right? Yeah, during the Second World War. Yeah, Japanese suicide pirates. Yeah, Japanese suicide pirates. They attacked. Yeah, they attacked the the Pearl Harbor and then launched the bomb on the battleship, right? And then by the time, yeah, they run out of the bomb. Yeah, they hit yeah another battleship right a suicide pirate okay hypothetically uh, thursday yeah they uh, uh, and then by the friday morning yeah the pirate yeah uh, say goodbye uh, to their wife in japan yeah yeah my dear yeah this is the time yeah i have to sacrifice for our country yeah you take care and take care of our children yeah okay right now let me ask you it's because the unfinished unfinished business the suicide pirates yeah, after they attacked the Honolulu and then uh, the next morning Friday morning their spirit go back to Japan to say goodbye to their wife is that a ghost story or, not, or what? No, it's not. It's the international deadline. In the Friday early morning, <laughs> yeah, the, the suicide pirate uh, understand today is the day for the mission. Yeah. So they, uh, uh, Friday early morning, they, they tell their wife, yeah, my dear, this is the day yeah, I need to sacrifice yeah, for our country. And you take care and take care of our children. So they through crossover international day line, yeah, subtract uh, a day, Friday become Thursday, and then they launch the bomb and then hit yeah the another battleship uh, suicide event.